Hello to YouTube and Twitter and Facebook and everyone watching. I'm John. Welcome to another video with me. Today I'm going to be doing another ramen review, but this ramen review is going to be much different than the ones I've done before because this one is the Gracie Poppin' Cookin' Candy Ramen. Now this is a do-it-yourself candy ramen. Um, this company also does like candy sushi, candy burgers, and stuff like that. I've done the candy sushi before and it was fun to put together and also pretty tasty as a candy itself but uh, I didn't do that one on a, on a video and I was kind of disappointed because it was pretty fun when I did it but since I do a lot of ramen reviews I'm going to be doing this one on the video and as you can see most of this is in Japanese except for the words top and cooking right there and then on the back all the instructions are also in Japanese so it does tell you for video tutorial and recipes in other languages visit this website so I've done that and I was able to print out this sheet which is the instructions in English so that I'll be able to follow along uh, as best as possible so in order to do this you're going to need a few things mostly water some scissors because you have to cut uh, some of the pieces of it, which we'll show you. And some toothpicks. You really just need one toothpick, but it's just like the punch holes in like a pastry bag kind of thing. So anyway, let's get this open. See what's inside. Since I'm not reading the instructions here, I'm not going to need this bag anymore. Uh, but it is colorful. And it does, it's like in the shape of a ramen container, which is cool. So we have whatever this blue one is. Whatever this yellow one is. Whatever this red one is. A bag of some sort. This is some kind of candy. A fork. Oh, they give you a toothpick, so I guess you don't need a toothpick, but uh, I saw it in the instructions, so I grabbed some just in case, so I wouldn't have to run out and get it, but they do give you one, so you don't have to do that. So, first things first, wash your hands. I've already washed my hands. Prepare a glass of water. Already got that. Cut apart the tray. So here's the tray it gives you, like so. And it tells you how many parts right here. It tells you how to cut it. So that's what I'm going to do. All right. So first of all, you need to cut this part out. This is going to be the most exciting part of the video is watching me cut this. We're just looking for these pieces so we end up with four pieces like two bowls and then two little shaping pieces all right now on to step one step one make make dumplings all right it says Break a candy. Put some candy aside for Naruto and egg, according to the pastry bag guide. Okay. Pastry bag guide is here. Okay. Put some candy aside for Naruto and egg, according to the pastry bag. And I think it's, it's just one for each thing. Hoping. Divide the remaining candy in half and expand them to the pastry bag guide. So I'm just going to rip this 
into two pieces, roughly the same size. And then I'm going to spread it over that circle there. Let's get this over to the back side just so I can see it. What's next? Hmm. Place the expanded candies onto the dumpling mold. Okay, so here's the dumpling mold. Let's do one more time here. The filling mix. Fold the mold over and press together. I'm guessing this is the filling mix. I don't really know. Okay. That looks like a picture of a dumpling to me. Yeah, because this one looks like noodles and this one looks like a ladle. Alright, so how do I open this? Is there a tab? I don't think there's a tab. So I'm just going to cut it. So since I'm making it two, I'm guessing I'm going to put half in this. And there you go. I got one dumpling. Let's do the other one. Another dumpling. Neither of which look too perfect. All right, so that says done. Remove from the mold and done. Makes two pieces of dumpling, which I have done. I have a little mm, candy bits. They're kind of sour. Step two make ramen. Okay. That says to use this one has a little note in it. Pour water up to the line on the side of the tray. Up to the line. Put the soup mix and mix well. Okay. I'm guessing this is a soup mix because it has like a ladle on it. Step two, pour water up to the line on the side of the star tray. Okay, this is the one that has a star, has a line on it. Put the noodle mix in. All right, so the green one is the noodle mix. All right. Next part, make a small hole in the corner of the pastry bag. It has an arrow pointing this way. Okay. From the inside to the outside, which I did. Fold back the top of the pastry bag. I'm gonna like fold it back to create like a lip. Most taste. Yeah, it's kind of like a lemony lime kind of flavor to it. Okay. Next thing, fold back um, at the top and twist. You're going to twist the top of it, it says. Okay. Twist the top. And squeeze the noodle mix around in the soup. Okay, so here's the soup. You have the hole on this side. Alright. 
So now we have the ramen. Here you can see it. Kind of looks like a bowl of ramen. Yeah. And next we're going to make the Naruto egg. So press the remaining candy into the mold to make the Naruto an egg. Alright, so we have our finished product. More realistic looking roasted pork and Naruto. Okay, I'll flip this over so you get a white background. Put the two dumplings there. And let's do a quick overhead look. There we go, we have the dumplings and the candy ramen with the Naruto and the egg in there. Alright, let's just do a quick taste. Start with the dumplings. It tastes like sour bubblegum. But it's not gum. Let's try some of this. Pretty decent sized noodles. Definitely has that cola flavor. The noodles themselves. Once they're in the cola soup, it doesn't really have a distinct flavor to it. And let me have the Naruto. Again, kind of just tastes like bubblegum. So overall, my review of the Poppin' Cooking Ramen. I actually found the sushi one to be a little bit more fun more variety both in making things and also in flavors but this was pretty good the uh, the uh, dumpling is actually a little bit tastier I think because I like sour candy and it's a little bit on the sour side and I'm not too fond of cola flavored things it's not my favorite but I don't hate it so overall for fun and for taste I'm going to give the ramen pop and cooking candy an 8 out of 10. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a like, share it, subscribe to my channel. Until next time, guys, bye bye.